Very well, people, welcome. Episode 13 of my... No, 14, sorry. Episode 14 of my Let's Play Season 4. Welcome, I have made some changes in the system. You can see I removed from here all my solar collection system from Industrial Craft and move it a little inside. I also replaced uh, the two standard solar panels with uh, one low voltage solar array. I had already two solar panels stored uh, down there in a chest, crafted two more and had enough, uh, or four more, sorry, and had enough to craft a low voltage solar array. And you can see the MFE is charging nicely. I place here uh, a gold uh, a golden uh, cable because well I wasn't uh, really sure if a uh, copper cable would be able to handle all that voltage and uh, another you know, uh, I moved all the machines in fact the uh, last thing I moved was the MFE in order to use up all its energy uh, to recharge the lab pack and I moved all the machinery to here. You can see the system is a little more streamlined with this being the the exit in of the of everything or the regular tubing, yeah. So you can see from here this retriever will paint items black. This won't uh, oh sorry, it will paint in paint them uh, orange. I added here a filter which uh, won't paint items uh, in any color and the chest to act as a buffer. I can't open the chest but I am uh, confident it won't affect the filters uh, working. Now I need to take some... well I need to take uh, this redstone signal from the clock to the filter and to retrievers and I need to take some of the cabling from the sorting machine to the two retrievers. But uh, that is of no consequence right now because uh, we need to do other stuff with uh, more speed. Hey! Eternal is fuel being cooked rather nicely. I like that. Anyway, uh, the first thing we need to do is to check on our diamond production. I, as you remember from the last episode, I turned uh, one stack of coal dust with uh, one piece of flint and one piece of uh, bricks into a diamond with the help of the um, compressor here. And now I'm, I am going to use that uh, two diamonds with some silver. I am going to need four silver if I am not mistaken and uh, I am going to need some glass. Why don't I have glass on me? Oh, I do. Hmm. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, of course, I was going to craft some more uh, gold cabling. You can see it here. Uh, can I craft... Yes, you can craft directly twice uh, insulated gold cabling. There is a reason for me crafting that and uh, don't worry, it will be revealed soon, as in in no time. So this is the glass fiber cable. We get six if we use silver ingots in here, but uh, if you remember right, silver only ha uh, happens to spawn if you have rest power 2 installed. If you don't want to have rest power 2, you can change the silver for regular redstone, but instead of getting six glass fiber cable, you will get only four. <coughs> so let's storage this, order this a little, and place all the rubber where it belongs. Perfect. <sighs> this is rather exhausting, I must say. And I am going to use the glass fiber cable down here to provide uh, energy to all machines. That uh, that means I am going to infrautilize it if uh, I use regular regular uh, low voltage, or I can do something else. And remember, I already told you I was planning to upgrade my machines 
into something with a little more speed. There we go, perfect. And there we go. So what am I going to do to be able to uh, serve medium voltage to all this system without it uh, blowing up? Well, because I plan to connect this directly here, which means I am going to need a little more glass fiber cable. Don't worry, I'll craft that off camera. So I am going to exploit the upgrades option. Since uh, Industrial Craft 2, I believe it was, we got uh, these three upgrades. I, I have no much use for the energy storage upgrade. Uh, the Lapotron loader upgrade can be extremely useful in the field, but uh, it doesn't have much use in a uh, sorting system. So the ones we want to talk about are the overclocker and the transformer. We are not going to craft the overclocker, but it requires coolant cells, which are crafted with uh, the help of a compressor and water cells. You craft regular water cells, into a comp uh, place them in a compressor, and you will get coolant cells, which incidentally are also used into your nuclear production facility, nuclear reactors for the wing. Now, we are going to craft ourselves some transformers. Uh, they require gold cabling, electric, electronic circuits, and a medium voltage transformer, which means we're going to need machine blocks. Now, uh, we do have some need of uh, extra electricity, but remember we have batteries. Yay! It is a good way of uh, moving voltage without things blowing up. And I don't know if I can charge uh, a battery in an MFE. Yes, I can. I like this kind of stuff. So I can get in here, grab myself a stack of iron, and uh, place half of it in this electric furnace with uh, the help of a battery, and the other half in here. That way we are going to get ourselves some refined iron, which we are going to need to craft uh, six... Uh, transformer upgrades, which means uh, 6 machine blocks, which means 48 refined iron, plus the ones we need for the electronic circuit. I'm also going to need some glass, and for that I'm going to get my hands on some dirt and use a transmutation table. I don't feel guilty from using the transmutation table uh, when it comes to turn, for example, uh, dirt into glass or <coughs> cobblestone into glass, mainly because you can use the, uh, the this uh, the macerator <coughs> to grind the cobblestone into sand, then use the electronic furnace to turn the sand into glass. So it's not really a, a big issue. You are just saving time. So we have some extra refined iron already saved up. Let's get our hands on a uh, diamonds, machine blocks already made. And we were going to need silver, of course. So let's wait for those things to cook up and the night to pass by. And I'll be back with you in a second. And in case you're wondering, we got uh, seven pieces of iron left to cook, which means uh, with a single battery you can cook up up to 25 pieces of iron into refined iron. This is another item I want to use in the near future, the CF sprayer, as you might have heard of it. Uh, but uh, don't worry, we are not going in the, into it for now. It's just to disguise this glass fiber cable in the foreseeable future. Anyway, we're going to need some machine blocks. As I said, uh, machine blocks can be crafted back and forth, uh, so there's no problem if we craft ourselves a little too much. And look! How did you spawn in here, little fella? Oh well. So we need six, as I said before. We have uh, eight, it's okay. And we're going to need uh, copper cable. Yes. 
medium voltage transformers. Oh dear, I suppose I should leave. Uh, oh, not a shapeless recipe, I see. There we go. So now to craft the transformer, we're going to need glass and electronic circuits, which means taking the electronic circuits from here. They are in here? Yes, they are in here. We're going to need one electronic circuit more, but, but as you know, I like to have uh, some reserve. Yeah, I'm going to craft uh, like uh, three or four extra ones while I craft the uh, redstone from my pocket, dimensional pocket. And in case you want to, you can recharge the batteries or if they are full, you can empty them, but since there's full power here, no real option here, but to check on our lap pack. Uh, no, it's already full, so not uh, nothing to do there. Let's leave the battery lying here and go back to our crafting. So for electronic circuits, uh, crystal was placed in here and in here, and gold on the sides. For what did we missed? Oh, of course, electronic circuits. I'm always making these uh, small mistakes. Don't blame the project table, blame the memory of the moron using it. And there we go, six transformers. I am going to be a little uh, a cheater and I'm going to save the world <laughs> before continuing in, just in case I messed up things and something blows up I don't need to uh, recraft everything and the like I'm a little paranoid with uh, uh, voltages uh, but of course first should uh, be better if I place the transformer upgrades so you see with this transformer these uh, machines will be able to receive medium voltage if uh, I w n uh, were to place a second transformer, they would be able to uh, survive to high voltage. Uh, with one, they go from low to medium. With two, they go to me from medium to high. And with three, with three transformers, they go from high voltage to extreme voltage. Be mindful of that. I place uh, four. In, uh, if we, I were to play with extreme voltage anyway, just to be sure. Okay, let's uh, test things out. I don't know you, but I am hoping things won't blow up. Hey, seems they w didn't blow up. Cool. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's working. I I feel relieved. Uh, let's test with this. Perfect. And there is a reason because I want to, uh, behind my wanting to have medium voltage in here. That's because when I, uh, the other upgrade I tend to use a lot, the overclocker upgrade, not only increases the speed of the machines, it also increases their hunger for energy. So they require more energy to work. And let me think for a second. Let's store it. Uh, what we are not going to use right now. Uh, not the refined iron. I want it in my hands. The machine blocks are going in there. Perfect. There we go. And now let's store it, those uh, leftover sticks. And we're good to go. Yeah. Perfect. So now I have the system installed here, but it's not working. We're going to need. CF pellets, which means construction foam, which are crafted like this. I don't really like to craft this, but uh, well, we're going to need some uh, clay dust and water buckets. Mm, should have a disposable source of water in my house. But of course, I didn't thought of that. I have some water on me, so I can solve that easily. And with the help of the marble bricks, we can make that. Uh, an obstrus, an obstrus, uh, as an ob obstrus, uh, I can't really warp my tongue about uh, the non 
uh, intrusive way of things. There we go. So we place this in here, this in here, and look how happy it, it is. Haha. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, anyway, I suppose with the with the recipe of the construction farm, you won't be taking up the water bucket, but you would be taking up the water cell. So be mindful of that. And the construction farm, I don't know if you can place it. Uh, on top of a uh, of one of these directly, but uh, I do require first some some clay. So let me see what's the EMC value of clay: 64, which means to get one single clay ball, I am going to need a lot of uh, these babies. There we go. One extra. And let's get uh, smooth basalt for the leftovers. Okay. So I am going to leave. At, uh, I like to have at least one item at hand, just in case. That's the way I work. And we need to place this on the macerator, which is the first machine. Shouldn't you be working up? Yes. Oh, of course. Uh, you don't uh, macerate clay. You macerate the clay blocks. Now it's working. Slowly, but it's working. And next item on my list. I'm going to need the rest. Of, I'm going to need more rest alloy. I, I, I'm a threat. Uh, so let me see. Uh, where did I place? Oh, there it is. Not much, just uh, enough to keep going. And we are going to need some of these uh, buckets. Well, well, 16 a day stack, so there's no real problem. Now we're going to need flax seeds and whatever we use to paint uh, to paint them. We have more than enough flax seeds. About uh, painting, we got uh, indigo, we got uh, yellow, we got red, oh, we got white, good, and we got black. Mm, requiring. Let's get uh, rose. Let's get uh, dandelion. And if we cross them together, we get orange. Indigo. Let me see. Can we cross breed indigo with something else? No. Yes. Purple. Perfect. I like to have a healthy amount of dice uh, when I don't have the slightest idea how to craft them. Indigo and orange, not working. And black with indigo, not working also. With orange, not working also. Dandelion, nope. And rose red, no. Okay, what about purple? No. Oh, grey. Perfect. Now, with a paint can, to flax seeds, the stack will be more than enough. We get ourselves a white can. Okay, should be making this like so. Mm, we got white, we got black, uh, we needed orange because it was conveniently placed you know, on the order. And for the time being, I believe those are more than enough. Now, we need something else to work with this. We're going to need sticks and we're going to need wool. Yeah. For now, three should suffice. So, three sticks and three pieces of wool get us three paintbrushes.
<coughs> so orange dye with a paintbrush get us orange paint and if you're wondering oh dear I might uh, waste them well so you know they all repair so don't worry about that I won't be running out of uh, of those in the foreseeable future oh and now that I'm here I can go there and check well forbidden and lost great uh, in case you're wondering, I don't advise you to use the quasi tomb with uh, anything but uh, three stacks of whatever you're investigating. And if you don't have anything better to do, just spam it with uh, dirt, cobblestone, or something equal equally cheap. Since you won't be wasting the paper until you make a discovery, it's no big uh, deal. And when you can surround the quasi tomb with libraries, it is now time to investigate. Just remember, 3% versus 1% is much better. Especially since the loss rate won't be affected. Uh, we're going to need also white and black. Let's storage them. And the tints, we can save them in here for the time being. Uh, we, are, we were going to get this clay dust, some coal dust, and some redstone. And let me see, we place it like this, like this, like this. Was it shapeless? Yeah. And you can see we get ourselves an empty bucket. Perfect. Now let's see, can I place this directly here? No, I cannot. That means we need to compress them into pellets, which we are going to then use to, cr uh, to load that uh, mini system I showed you before. Fortunately, we get three of these per item, so it's no big deal. And yes, I know, again, I am doing several things at once. I am sorry. I hope it's not uh, really confusing. These are, these are the CF pellets you can only use with that item we crafted a moment ago. And let me see. Uh, these are the two macerators, so the, I am not going to paint them. I need to paint here. And the macerators are painted white. So, uh, white is it. Perfect. Now, from this they are painted orange, because there are things I will want to send directly to the electric furnaces so I am uh, this required to be painted upstairs uh, but black I will paint in here see so everything that gets out of there of this retriever or is uh, a miscellaneous young from here it will go black mm, now we need to paint orange I'm going to paint orange directly in here See? Now items will go in either of these uh, electric furnaces according to requirements. We can give it a try. If we want, uh, by for example, placing basalt cobblestone in here. And let me store it uh, this in there. So we can proceed. Okay, we open the chest. We see the stack taken out fully. It is now painted orange. It goes into the orange orange system, and it is being cooked. Of course, it won't be taken out because we are not uh, we don't have connected the system but that is of no consequence 
and time to storage this uh, cold dust and uh, the redstone. Perfect. Uh, 21 only. Ah, two stacks of gold. Okay, can't live with that. <sighs> this is exhausting, as I said. So, we get our pellets, we get our sprayer, and uh, we are going to need a full system. By the way, you can craft an item akin to um, to the lab pack and the bat pack for use with the 3F sprayer in case you are using it uh, a lot. Okay, 8 pellets gives, gives us a fully working thingy. Now, yeah, we are going to waste uh, some of this. You can control uh, how this uh, gets uh, placed if you ca uh, make scaffolding. And we, you can make a regular scaffolding, which is from Industrial Craft, or the new iron scaffolding, which I don't have the slightest idea of uh, its uses or purposes, at least for now. Not a big deal, since we don't really need it at this point. Anyway, you can see, we are crafting some covers from this thingy. And I advise you to be really quick when it comes to remove the extra layers you don't really want to use because they harden rather quickly <laughs> or in the least uh, convenient moment. It's uh, an addendum to, to, the, to Murphy's Law, which is uh, kind of nice implemented in, in Industrial Craft if uh, somehow involuntary. Now, let's see, will this prior. No, the sprayer won't get repaired inside of our uh, back of uh, using the talisman of repair. Industrial craft items are wired, so they won't uh, record their charges using, using damage. So let's storage it in here. And uh, there is a small trick you might uh, want to know, and that is to use piece of sand to immediately harden. Not working if it's uh, embedded. Oh yes, it is. It is working. See, you can use uh, sand oh. to harden instantly the the system if you manage to click on it, which seems to be a little hard since I am using. Yeah, there it is. I suppose it's a slight problem with the use of the. Um, There we go. With the use of the foam to cover the cablings. But of course, we now have a problem because we can't uh, reach the transfer the MF MFE. And if we remove the covering, we also remove the cable. So I'm going to leave this one like like this, even if it's a little awful. But uh, oh well, what can we do? In case you want, you can also paint this. Uh, these artificial wallings, which aren't really resistant, so I advise using only basalt to protect yourself from, from creepers. And uh, you can paint them using one of the industrial craft painting system, which I already mentioned before, I believe. These uh, painters, you can see they have the same array of colors the Red Power 2 has. Uh, but they don't have any kind of, um, well, they are crafted with two pieces of iron, three pieces of wool, and then you apply directly the paint from the tincture. And once they are completely depleted, they revert to be uh, an uncolored painter. So you would need to apply the color again. And you can use them not only to paint these blocks, but also uh, the cablings. Because if you remember, 
the copper cable, gold cable, even iron cable can be, have these little colors in here, but can but support to be painted. Well, you can even paint the glass fiber cable if you want, and yes, it will work. So back from the classics lesson, so to speak. We're going to need to uh, tie this system, this and this, to this clock and these two guys to the electrical system. I am, uh, I am going to see right now if we can use the battery box. And where is the cabling? Here it is. To well, let's see if we can use this system as a sort of me yeah, we can use this as a middleman to carry power to these two which means we need some sort of surface to t uh, place the cablings so let's think uh, I had some covers and I can use the basalt ones or you or make a new more so let's let's make do with the basalt and yeah we have some stone so it's okay I can place the stone in here. Yeah, I know it won't be looking really good. Uh, but of course, be mindful, you can't uh, connect a cable like this or like this. The cable needs to go directly. So our options here are essentially this. In here, we're going to need to remove this uh, from here, uh, or no, no, not really, not really. We can place this in here directly. Ah, uh, yeah, like this, it's okay. And we can use the coverings to place. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, here, for example. You can see I used uh, a white one in here to prevent this piping to connect to this one. Let's remove it and see. Yeah, see. And if we place another, we block that uh, reunion to happen, that connection. So there we go, here and here. We need now something to take this down. Or we can take it uh, in here like this. Hop. Perfect. And now we can connect it to this system. Uh, but I am going to I am going to place here another bat box just in case. I know there's more than enough energy with one bat box and the seven or eight uh, solar panels I have upstairs. Anyway, I now need uh, some redstone current to be applied, and I have the problem of having this well blocked, so to speak. Also, I believe I can't run redstone directly up here. See, I can't apply it. I am clicking like a madman, but I cannot. So we are going to make do with something else. So let's place, for example, this block in here. With this in here. And this one in here. And this one in here. If I place this in here, I can't access from there, but I am going to make another access because right now things are a little messy in there. So make here, for example, an access. Yeah. And I believe I had already some uh, stairs crafted, or I might have removed them. Oh well, not a great deal because I can recraft them no yes see okay I crafted 26 now we're going to need some uh, six wooden planks I believe yeah Trapdoor. door. 
There we go. We now have our access. Perfect. And just in time because I need to place something here to allow things to go. Mm, let's place this in here. So the okay. Now let me see. Oh, of course we need this in here. And now we need. Uh, let me see. Do I have some covered? Yeah, white color cable. Mm -hmm. I can't place you in there. Oh, of course. I need to use uh, white. I mean, uncolored one here for because it's in the same block as the other one. I need to use white in here, but we are going to have a problem. So I am going to run it through here. And use this here, here, and here. See? Now we're working. Okay. Uh, so I am going to need uh, this in here, sadly. And now let's make a Perfect. Now they are all working. Hmm. I am thinking I am going to rotate now that there's nothing working in there, like this. It is still working. But this blocking here will have a relevant something to say uh, to the systems being on or off. So it's here. Let me graph a lever. I should have one somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Now I can place this in here and block the clock. Perfect. There we go. So now we can simply... Well, let me fill this a little because I don't want uh, monsters to spawn in here. Nor I do want to place a, a torch in there. So there we are, nice and happy. The only thing that remains is to choose a color for the extractor. And why do I have some pellets in here? For my life, I don't know. Ah, of course, of course, it was the closest, in, the closest inventory to the compressor. Of course, of course. So from the compressor items, of course, are strange at the same time. Ah, yes. Hmm. I suppose it was a, a, a glitch. Anyway, I need to decide a color for for the extractor and apply it to the. Oops. And apply it uh, to the main sorting system in there. And I will go with red because it's a color that's easy to remember, uh, easy to access, and you won't be using red that much since uh, you're going to invest most of your fiery red tints. You can see I already painted in there, I already have the red paint brush in here, and I already placed the can in here. Anyway, as I was telling you, rose red is used not only to make a crowbar, which I do have already, and some of other railcraft items and some logistic pipes items. It is also used for the iron chipsets. Uh, you, uh, I can't show you right now, but it's uh, something from Buildcraft. Uh, Buildcraft has uh, an advanced mode of creation stuff that things that you require to do um, for some of the items you need to craft yourself a laser and a table specially designed for that and that is mostly for the logic gates with the um, with 
with buildcraft. That means uh, ants or gates with, made with iron, with uh, diamonds, with etc. Gold. Anyway, uh, this is a good wrapping up point. I'm sorry I dragged this along another 40 minutes episode. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will try to make the, ne the next one um, quicker episode. I only need now to craft myself a uh, uh, storage area. I might go with my pre uh, first half of second season let's play idea of having the chest on the floor, which is which means they are easy to access are uh, enough to, enough intrusive enough intrusive. Ah, I will tie my tongue around it some day. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. Bye.